I hope to see it this form of uh, the uh, current alderman, Michael Scott. Uh, I, I like to see him answer some tough questions. Okay. And I want to know why should we trust each and every one of you to go ahead and get this automatic position where you're getting paid six figures and yet, you know, I don't want to say this will happen, and I hope not, but we end up with the same thing. Let me just stop I do agree this is why we're going to return the power back to the people. Because it's important that the people start taking control back of the Alamanah office. According to the UIC uh, Orgies Institute, the only way to stop real gentrification, which is happening both in the 24th and 28th Ward, is cooperatives. Cooperatives is the only model that can prevent gentrification from happening. So I wanted to know where you guys stand on it. Will you support that? I mean, the first thing we have to do is win. And we have to be current all of I mean, the current all of you have here tonight. So that shows what his mindset is, it shows what the current mindset And this is my own, and actually, earlier, he's my own. My business is his war, and I live in his war, and I'm here. We wouldn't have to deal with issues of resources or revenue streams if we have access to the tip dollars and how the money is being spent. It's just that simple. The resources are there. But everyone acts like we need to bring in more resources. No, we need to use the current resources that we have for the community. We all know what the 24th and the 28th Ward is a food desert. We already know that the neighborhood has been decimated. This has been going on for over 40, 50 years. So what you all are saying on the panel is nothing new. We really need to get to the root cause of a lot of the violence in our community. And that's mental health. I'm not trying to criminalize mental health. When I look at the community as a whole, the 28th Ward reminds me of war zone. We find elected officials in office right now that's going to involve and include the people who we are in office to serve. I look forward to making sure the 24th Ward is inclusive of any and every project and any and every allocation kind of for dollars to make sure the reflection of your eyes have been done. We are the ones that have a high office, we are the ones that breathe this air, and we are the ones that see here. And it's up to you guys to pay a visit to the candidates so that you can have more time with them to understand their platform.